Hello, Zebraherd. Welcome back to Super Mario Kart. Today, we are heading back into the 100cc action that we started last episode. This time around with our fifth character, which will be our good brother, Luigi. Oh, I like how looking all up and down. He does a little wiggle. Look at him when he looks away. That was like a happy little wiggle. Oh, I love that. Even though they're, you know, simple little pixel art stuff, it just, it shows so much character. We're heading into the Flower Cup race, seeing how this one goes. Of course, we've raced these tracks before, but not quite at this speed. We did struggle a little bit in the last episode. We had tied for points in first with Luigi. So we'll see how that works out now that we're playing Luigi. Everything's gone full circle. So he should, I would imagine, have the same stats as Mario, but I guess we'll find out. I wonder if he'll have the same ending music as Mario. Probably, oh no, oh no, problems, problems. There we go. So right now things aren't going perfect. I'm only in fifth place, but we can work on that. Yeah, I'm so used to sort of, it's interesting because Koopa and Bowser were sort of two ends on different spectrums of like, uh, oh gosh, oh gosh, be careful. Um, of like Bowser was very slow to accelerate, but also had like a high top speed. And Koopa was sort of the opposite. He could accelerate very quickly, but then have the fastest top speed. Thank you, out of here, Yoshi. And because of that, Mario and Luigi seem like they're perfectly in the middle. They're just like a balanced character, which is very common for Mario in these types of games. There we go. Oh, just be careful. Put down a banana. Okay, so we seem to be actually pulling off some kind of lead here, which is great, because we're coming in the last lap. I do want to drift around this corner simply because I want to get around all of the items. Out of the way, Toad. So definitely hitting people with items earlier on really helped, and it looks like they're still running into items, so boom, first race actually turning out perfect. So this is where I'm curious, what music does it play? Oh, this is different. Very like jazzy, not jazzy. I, I, I really don't know how to describe. Sounds like something that would go good with like maracas. I like it. <laughs> Fits Luigi pretty well. All right, so with that one done, Oh yeah, we're moving to the ghost boardwalk of doom. Okay, so I didn't get a good start there, oddly enough. I thought I revved up for a while, but I suppose not. I missed a couple of coins there, so getting coins as an item isn't too bad. So honestly, this is one that I'm not too wild about drifting on right now. I just wanna sort of get through, ah, without it as much as I can. And like, with that being said, I'm pulling off a pretty good lead, whether you have to drift or not. Okay, that was actually really good, though. Usually depends on like which character you're playing in the track angles. Ah, oh, I thought I hit the speed boost there. The goal is to hit it without having to worry about too much else, but the angling is really tough. So that turn is pretty important to do. Oh gosh, oh, oh man. Um, it's pretty important to do a, a drift on that one. Okay, at least I didn't fall off. Already on lap four. Yoshi's pretty close behind me, so I do have to keep racing as pretty well, as, as well as I can. I mean, I always am trying to do that, but just gotta focus in on it. Ugh, that's not what I meant. I meant the opposite of that. Oh boy, no, no, no. They're pushing me around a little bit. Okay. Okay, that was good. These corners, the more you bump into the walls, the more the dangerous, more dangerous the track becomes because those walls aren't there to protect you anymore. You just fall right off the side. But there we go, we got the win. So two wins so far. <laughs> Toad is just trying to bonk me out of the way. Not gonna happen, buddy. So it's been tough so far, but we've been able to make it work. Our, uh, that last lap was actually our quickest lap time too, so things are going well. Luigi is riding with the checkered flag. I love the background for this part where it sort of looks like, almost like a chalkboard in a way. It's just like a nice little touch. Next up. Round three. Once again, not getting a good start. So this is a track I think, once again, I'll start with no drifting. Well, actually, on a turn like this, it just makes sense, you know? Yeah, these, these S turns, because they sort of make an S, if you look at it from above, are definitely worth doing it with. It's just all about that angling. But I feel like we're definitely better th at it now than what we were the first couple of episodes. It just takes some warming up. Okay, go for it. Go for it. It definitely was good to stop a little early there. 
And this one, you gotta go really deep with it. Uh, not, not too bad right there, okay, I like it. Even with all of that though, Mario and Yoshi aren't too far behind me, I do have to be careful. Oh no. Oh, this one's a bit of a problem when I run right into the mole. Luckily, that doesn't make you spin out, it just makes you lose some speed, which is, it isn't the worst thing. There we go, looking good. I'll throw this red shell backwards, it won't really do much. We're in lap four, and Mario's pretty close behind me, but everybody else is pretty far behind, so even if I finish in second this race, that's not that big of a deal, but I'm determined for first. Uh. Not too bad, not too bad at all. Okay, last lap, this is where it all counts. It is refreshing playing a Mario Kart game where I don't have to stress about blue shells, though. If you want that, this is about the only game you could have that experience in, as far as I know. I'm pretty sure that, you know, the next game after this is Mario Kart 64, they definitely have blue shells in that one. Oh no, 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 no. Oh no, 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 no! Hold on, hold on, don't do this to me. Oh my gosh, I knew I was gonna do that too. I knew it. <laughs> uh, that's fine. Like I said before, second is great. Not a bad finishing time at all. I just, I need to make sure that I don't sort of relax at all because that can happen. So we're still in the lead by three points, so as long as we just keep racking up the wins overall, we should be okay. Now we're at Bowser's Castle. No drifting this time, I don't think. I mean, there's some places where it could be useful. Ah, I burn out. That's the first time burning out. Wasn't too bad, though. It really wasn't all that much slower than if we had no momentum. Let's throw this banana head. Ah! Oh! <laughs> That's bad, though. Oh, Mario's getting really out there super quick. Okay, luckily the thwomps didn't thwomp me there. Okay. So I just sort of have to make my way back up there, slowly but surely. Mario is so far ahead, this is not gonna be easy. Okay, so I get a feather. I never get the feather on the tracks where I really want it. Because I've already tried this shortcut with it, it didn't work out so well. And I think the carts go faster in this game mode, so maybe it would work out now. Oh man, bump in the corners ever so slightly can mess you up so bad. And Koopa Troopa bumping me like that will also mess me up so bad. Because I was about to make that jump, I had the angling and the speed enough for it. But then Koopa's like, nope, <laughs> this is not racing, this is bumper cars. Oh, we get a star. I have not gotten a star yet, so this is, this is interesting. There we go. Out of the way, please. Let me drift a little bit there. Ah, no, no, no. Come on, come on. Run out of time here. Mario's getting farther and farther ahead. Oh, boy. Oh, I get star power again. This time in second place is actually not that bad. I'm coming for you, bro. I'm coming for you. That's it. Oh, ho, ho, I almost hit him. Would have been great, but I didn't, that's fine. It's not even the last lap yet, but we're coming up on it, just barely went by that corner. Oh man, oh man, jump. I got a Koopa shell, which I'll throw back now and see if it hits him. It did, yes! Okay, this is our chance. Let's make it work. That's it, that's it. And I am pretty fairly in the lead, it seems. Out of the way, Toad. And got it. Whew. Definitely intense. So two firsts, a second, and a first. Whoa, what was happening there? I don't know. Um, but we get a one up. That's always good to see. And how are we doing on points now? I should be a good chunk ahead. Yeah, because second place is plus three points, but First place is plus nine. Well, I think it's actually plus six for me if I get second points. I think I get more points for my wins and stuff. So as long as I get like first or second here, I should be fine. I think I can even get like third place and still win. But any less than that and we're gonna be in big problems. So let's see how we do without drifting on some of this. But there is some of it like this where you just sort of gotta drift and then let go of the, the speed right at the end. Oh no, oh, don't hit the oil spill. 
Mario's taking the lead though. Oh, I missed the speed boost, but so did he apparently, okay. Oh, Mario's invincible right now. I tried to throw my Koopa shell at him. Not gonna work. I did hit Koopa with the Koopa shell though, ironically enough. I think he'd have some kind of protection against that, but nope. There we go. Going through the zigzags can be tough. I missed the speed boost again. All right. Uh, a little too close to the corner there. Oh, he's right behind me with the star power though. I don't like it. Oh man, <laughs> one of these times I'll get the speed boost. I just keep missing it. Ah, darn it, darn it, darn it. So now we're in third place, it's really not good. So like, I've been able to keep a lead, but I haven't been, or stay in the lead, but I haven't actually been able to build a lead on them. No, and I missed it again. If I'm not going too, like sure, I'm going too wide. Oh, Red Shell, could help me out if he doesn't jump over it. And he didn't. See ya, Mario, see ya, bro. Ooh, that was almost too, too soon, that would've been bad. Yeah, there it is, awesome! <laughs> to finish off the race, I finally get the speed boost. That's what I'm talking about. So it looks like this win is gonna finish this cup with a win. That's great. And that last lap was our fastest. Actually, no, the second lap was a little bit faster. I stand corrected. So as you can see, we're getting up to 42 points. Still a great score, as long as we finish the cup in first place, that's what truly matters to me in this game. So yeah, Luigi finally tastes the victory. I think it's a free bottle of soda. Everybody always has to beat up the balloon. He also gets two bottles. Some of them do, some of them don't. I mean, he's sort of wasting a lot of it by spinning it around that way, but hey, I guess it's his. He can do whatever he wants with it. There we go, we completed the, 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 the flower cup. So that's really cool. And with that being said, there are two more cups left to go in 100cc. We'll continue on with those in the next episode of Super Mario Kart. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.